Uncle John 1812. It's a Friday afternoon evening, and uh, we're heading to guess what, guys? You'll know by the title already. Well, we're heading to the Dollar Tree. We're going to the Dollar Tree. A while back, about a year ago, no, or so, it was longer than a year, maybe two years ago, year and a half at least. We did a Dollar Tree uh, steak review of Stampede Steaks, uh, Stampede Meat, and they had some uh, steaks there, and they're kind of complimentary for breakfast steaks. And uh, we did a review um, of those, and people really loved the video, and some people were negative about the video, uh, saying things like, why would you feed that to your family? And it's... So we're going to go. What are we going to get? I don't know. I'm going to let you know right now. When we head to Dollar Tree, hopefully I can take you guys in there with me. We can look around at the uh, frozen section, the meat section, see what they have, see what we're going to grill, and then we'll show you that part hopefully, and then we'll be back grilling it and trying it for you. So we'll be right back. Hang in there. All right, guys, we're here. Dollar Tree. We're finally here, guys. I know everybody's been waiting, like I was saying in the car, for us to do this review. So, all right, guys. Sorry, it's a little vibrating. I didn't think it would do that. So we're going down this way to check out the frozen section to see what we can find. Okay. So here we are. And remember, when you have the Dollar Tree, you can get anything you want. Paper plates, cards, everything. But we're here to get some food. So let's go. Is it recording? Mm -hmm. Okay, I was making sure that the camera may have pressed pause or something. But we're going to make sure the coast is clear. We don't like to get people's faces on there. Okay, so hold on. <laughs> the frozen section. So, can we turn it a little bit so mm -hmm. we can see? You just turn the top off. Here we go, frozen section, guys. So here, here is the frozen section. We have pizzas. We got ice cream. Your head's cut off. It's cut off. There I'll we go. down. We got pizzas. We got ice creams. We got. You man. We have some frozen sandwiches, which we're not going to grill those. But we have hot pockets right there, guys. One dollar hot pockets. We have, uh, what is this stuff here? So here's some of the meat. Chicken breast. Okay, so here is a $1 chicken breast here at the Dollar Tree. Looks like that on the back side and there's a the front. You get one of them for a buck. What else do we have down there? I know I gotta get, I know I, have, I know I gotta get five of these for my mom. We've done these. These are the stampede. Make sure you get the good looking ones. These are the stampede. I don't like that one. That for uh, for a dollar, we did a review on those guys. They weren't too bad tasty. Um, but mom wants five of them. Oh, that one I don't like. That one I don't like. But yeah, grab the other one back. Grab the other one back. We're not reviewing those guys. We've already reviewed those. We're going to be reviewing something different. So how many is that? There's five. Okay. No, you've got three in them. I got five now. One, two, three, four. One more. Oh, it's cold, guys. Okay. Well, yeah. okay. How about now, the pork loin chop? We could do the pork loin chop. And the chicken breast. And the chicken breast. There's the pork loin chop. It's made by Stampede Meat as well. One dollar. There's what it looks like on the back side. And we're going to grill this. I think we're going to do that, guys. I think Grab we're, a few of them out so I can see them. We're going to do the, uh, from Chop House, uh, gourmet foods here. Boneless chicken breast for one dollar at the Dollar Tree. And we're probably going to do the pork loin bone in pork chop pork loin chop okay that's what we're going to do um i'll tell you that calories 200 calories on this thing 100 calories for fat and it has a pretty good amount of sodium 320 milligrams the uh chicken breast here has 240 milligrams and 120 calories and calories from fat 25 so that's the nutrition facts you're looking at my son i know you guys said I know you guys said don't feed your kid that type of meat. We're not feeding him all the time. We're just trying this food out. We're just seeing what it tastes like. This is not something of our daily diet, but it just goes to show that there is food out there to buy. And even if you're on a budget or whatever, so try it out. But we need a couple of them then. So they're kind of thin. You might need two to equal one and the chicken breast as well. But we're going to get these. We're going to pay for them. They're all a dollar each. And that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to be outside. 
Uh, we opened up the packages here of the uh, boneless or bone in, sorry, bone in chop loin chop here. Pork from, loin chop. Pork loin chop from Stampede Meats. That's the same company that we did the review on the uh, ribeye steaks of Stampede Meats. So that's one item from the Dollar Tree we're going to review. And camera mom cut them open and then she uh, took yep. them and rinsed them off. Rinsed them off. You didn't really wash your meat, but and then the boneless, skinless uh, chicken breast here from Chop House Gourmet Foods. So we'll season them first. So <laughs> we'll take a little bit of this kicking uh, chicken. This is from Weber. Camera mom likes to use it. Put some on there like that. Okay. And then do you want to put the other one or no? On the steak. Okay, on the steak she wants to do. Now these two are from the ribeye steaks. Mom wanted some of those. We're not reviewing those. We did those. You guys can check out that video down there. But here is the uh, bone-in pork loin chop, correct? And we're going to put, I put kicking on there, sorry. Oops. Won't hurt a little bit, but we're going to put some of the Weber Chicago steak, okay? And we're going to put that on there like that might be a little too much. Do you want to put anything else on there? She the has. I like garlic powder and onion powder. She likes onion powder and garlic powder. We can put them on both. Okay. And then here's the uh, kids over playing. Here's the garlic powder. And then your basic salt and pepper. And I'll just. Dash of salt and dash, dash of salt, pepper. Dash of pepper. Okay, now I can finally put them on. And then you would repeat what we just did there. You're going to repeat again uh, on the side that you haven't seasoned yet. And I think to cook these for probably what? They're so thin. So yeah, they won't take very they long. They won't at take all. very long. Would you say it less than ten minutes? At least. Five on each side. Three to five Probably. on each side. So we're gonna find out for sure. We're gonna season the rest of them. We're gonna get them all grilled up and cooked, and then we'll be right back with finally a finished product so you guys can see us try these out. We'll be right back. We're back. Uh, we've got the finished product here. And and this is the chop house boneless, skinless chicken breast gourmet food chop house right here this is what the finished product looks like we took a good picture of it we had seasoning on it we put it on the grill we grilled it for about seven to ten minutes each each side uh depending on how hot your grill is or whatever you're doing there so it just depends 15 to 20 minutes and so then we also have the pork pork or bone-in pork loin chop from stampede meat and once again we did do their steak already but here's their bone-in pork loin chop okay put seasoning on there um, the inside of the chicken breast if I open it up that's what it looks like there nice looking good thick looking meat the, that's a butter knife son I don't need it son I don't need it they were gonna give me a knife if I want to open something I just do it the manly way and you can just tear it apart so there's the bone-in chop pork pork loin chop I want to say chop pork loin pork loin chop okay so also I want to let everyone know this is all from the Dollar Tree we got uh, this is KC masterpiece baked beans here mm -hmm. which you've seen the picture of you'll see the picture of and these are uh, green giant um, green beans and the green beans cost 79 cents for the can and the can for the bushes baked beans I think were a <laughs> dollar so technically I'm eating um, two things of meat and two sides for roughly three dollars and seventy nine cents. We went ahead and also picked up something else from the Dollar Tree, uh, Supreme Tradition Steak Sauce Zesty Blend. Okay, so we're gonna try that. So first, what I'm gonna do real quickly, let's get into the meat. Let's see what it tastes like. You guys know about all the calories and all that and price. And here we are. This is the Chop House Gourmet Food Boneless Skinless Chicken Breast. And here we go. Mm. We seasoned it really well, but the meat itself is pretty darn good. It's not overly moisture, but it's not too dry. It's kind of in the middle. This is probably going to be better with that sauce. Now, that's a steak sauce and not like a ranch or a barbecue, but you know what? I would prefer to have hot sauce. I don't know if mom has any hot sauce in the fridge. Chicken. 
Also, I like the size of, there's a few of them, like this one here, guys. We cooked more than one. This one here wasn't that big. But I do like the size of most of them. And it looks like full meat all the way through. And two bites that I've had. Yeah, bring it to me. Chicken wing sauce. This is a chicken wing sauce, but it ain't from... It's oh, it's from the Dollar Tree. It's too. Supreme Tradition Chicken Wing Sauce. So, uh, the two bites that I had of the Chop House boneless, skinless chicken breast here doesn't have a lot of fatty taste to it. So I'm not over chewing, not chewing for weeks. Tastes okay, right? Let's get a little dipping sauce going on. First, we'll try some Supreme Tradition Chicken Wing Sauce. It's buffalo. Just put a little bit on there. It's got an orange color, buffalo smell. Wow. That's really good, too. That really helped out that this chicken breast here. This Top House <clears throat> Gourmet Foods chicken breast here. Boneless, skinless. Really good. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, I give the Chop House Gourmet Foods Boneless, Skinless Chicken Breast from the Dollar Tree a solid 8. I think it's really good. It's not over fatty. Every piece I've bitten, I've tried three or four bites here. I haven't had to chew for a long time. Slightly a little dry, but yeah, it's got a little bit of moisture to it. And in particular, white meat, a lot of people say it's dry, but I prefer white meat's pretty good. So I think it's really good with the um, chicken wing sauce that you can also pick up at the Dollar Tree. I don't know if it'll be good with the steak sauce. And I haven't had their steak sauce yet, but this is that Supreme Tradition Steak Sauce Zesty Blend. Oh, way too much. <laughs> way too much. I'm going to get more zesty than chicken breast here. Yeah, that's really good. That zesty sauce almost puts you in the mind of a different... Kind of like a little bit more watery. Not too watery, but a slightly more watery-based A1 sauce. Try. You know, try that orange. You want to try that orange sauce, John? There you go. I'll give it to my son while he's eating. Okay, so now we're going to do the bone in pork loin chop review. Guys, this is from Stampede Meat. It contains 18% of water and seasonings, is what they say. It's about five ounces for each one. You get a napkin, Johnny? I've forgotten the boneless, skinless chicken breast. It didn't say the ounce. It did somewhere. I think I cut off the package part, but. But this pork loin chop bone in, here we go. Let's taste it, guys. Here we go. Stampede meat, Dollar Tree. Let's see. Let me try a little piece. I honestly wish he would have bit and he would have bit into a bone. Mm. <laughs> It'd be funny. I'd be no. just fine. Bone in pork loin. But I'll tell you what, it's real thin, not hard to chew, but well, me. if you did not add seasoning to this, it wouldn't have much flavor. So you have to add seasoning to this, okay? You know, you can tell without that seasoning on top, it wouldn't have any flavor. It'd almost be like you're just eating. Yeah, raw meat dry. Yeah, it just wouldn't have any flavor. So let's try it with some of that zesty oh, sauce. I dipped yeah. it down here. Got a little bit on your plate, son? Yeah. Try it. That helps it out. I recommend seasoning it for sure and get you some zesty steak sauce or just some type of barbecue sauce and put it on there. It probably makes them a lot better. But by themselves, if you just threw them on the grill, didn't put anything but maybe even just salt, mm. it wouldn't be good. you got to have seasoning. That's good, Ruby. And you got to have good job, some man. steak sauce or something, job, a barbecue man. sauce. What? That's my dad talking, but... That's the seasoning on part, man. What, what, what more seasoning did you use? There's one seed I can taste. I mean, well, you get to the kick. Yep. Well, we did use the um, Weber Steakhouse seasoning. Mm. Chicago style. Chicago style. Mm. And so that helped out the bone-in stampede okay, well, good, man. I mean, pork chicken, loin chicken. chopped, okay? So, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, stampede meat here 
bone-in pork loin chop. I'm gonna give it a solid oh, yeah, five. I like taco. Uh, oh yeah. Wait a minute. They're talking about the Weber season. Know, but oh, I'm gonna no, give. No, no, take that back for the chili powder. A little bit you chili. You get it with the chili yeah. powder, and you get yeah. it with the. Because uh, there's there's actually the chili taco. flakes in it. Mm. I'm Just gonna, a reminder. We'll mm. show y'all. Sorry, I can't find the thing. Mm. Chicago style. And That's what's going on the boneless chicken. good chicken. Mm. Okay, but let me finish this up. Well, the bone-in stampede, uh, bone-in pork loin chop. Scale of 1 to 10, 1 being worse, 10 being the best. I'm only going to give it a 5. If it wasn't for the seasoning or a steak sauce or barbecue sauce to go along with it, I probably wouldn't eat it. If it was just salt and pepper, it's not good enough for me. The meat doesn't really have a taste to yeah. it. So, Guys, it's been a while coming. I know you guys want me to do Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, so I finally did it. I hope you enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Don't forget, once again, I'll repeat exactly what we reviewed, so it's always good so you guys know if you want to go there and buy them. The Chop House Gourmet Food Skinless Boneless Chicken Breast, okay? One dollar. And also, the Stampede Meat Bone-In Pork Loin Chop. Okay, uh, for one dollar. Yeah. So, go out and try them at the Dollar Tree. They're there. What there might this? be a different style at Where your Dollar it? Tree, but they should be there. So, that's all I have, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And we'll see you Sunday. Sunday. Yep. Bye, guys.